What is going on squad? Do you like story time? I know I do. Let's talk about my five clients and their progress on the ISO chain and ISO max in the last couple months. This is insane. We have one that's well over triple their starting numbers and just let's get into this. So we're gonna start with client number one. Now for client confidentiality purposes, I won't be dropping any names, but we can go with an age range. So our first client is in our early 40s and he sought me out. I actually trained his son at the gym and he just came back from a major shoulder surgery. It was, without getting into it, um, he had to rehab his shoulder. So you guys are going to see videos of he and I training and our goal was to strengthen up his shoulders and surrounding musculature. So upper back complex and front medial and rear delt. Okay. So what did we do? We did shoulder press, front raise and shrug. Our first week's numbers were 80 to 86.6. Our last week's numbers were 96.6 to 110.8. That was an increase of 39%. Our front raises started around 16.6 to 29.6. Our final week, week seven, was 31.6 to 36.4, an increase of 119%. That means he doubled his strength. Whenever it's over 100, he doubled it. His shrug, 139.8 to 190.4 his first week. His final week, 305.4 to 320.4, an increase of 129% over double. If you add all of those up, he increased 95%. Where do I get the 95% from? I take the 39, the 119, and the 129%, and I divide that by 300, three exercises, each symbolizing 100, right? And that's where I got it from. 287 divided by 300, 95%. Slam dunk, 95, A plus, freaking amazing. His shoulder feels so much better now, and we still talk about it to this day. Our next client, he is in his mid to late 70s. His doctor said that he cannot do any overhead presses. He has torn rotator cuff on the right and left sides, uh, so it's very limited mobility. He can extend his left arm all the way up, but his right arm only goes up halfway. That's, it's that significant. So because of what we know about isometrics, we can still work his shoulders. It's just no dynamic movement. The doctors gave us to go ahead. Let's freaking do it. Check this out. August 5th, 2022, average 40.8 pounds. October 3rd, 2022, average 72.8 pounds. Now when I say average, we were doing six by sixes, so I took the lowest number of that six by six session and the highest number of that six by six session, and I took that middle number. That's why I'm getting these numbers. December 5th, 2022, average 97.8 pounds. February 13th, 2023, average 104 pounds. April 5th, 2023, average 124.2 pounds. July 17th, 2023, average 139.8 pounds. Those increases were all without doing any dynamic shoulder presses, which means all the gains he got on his shoulder presses were static only. They were only isometric in nature. That is an increase of 242%. He has tripled his shoulder strength, tripled since last year. Insane. He is the first 200 percenter that I've monitored and seen on the ISO chain or ISO max. The chest press, because the ISO max just dropped in March, um, the chest press is relatively new. So we started chest press training on the ISO max, April 5th, 2023. Speaking of which, average 43.4 pounds. May 1st, average 67 pounds. June 5th, average 77.2 pounds. July 3rd, average 84.6 pounds. July 17th, average 79.8 pounds. Now, why did it go down? Sometimes this happens in your training. I don't like to um, get too many sessions that are relatively close to each other. If you've done OI training, you know that numbers fluctuate, but they're on an upward trend, right? So this was just one of the downward trends on his way up, but he's doing very well. If we combine the numbers, it's out of 200 now. You have 242% plus 83% for that chest press. 
and overall of 162%. He is 1.5 times stronger than when he started. He's over double on his way to triple. Very good job. That brings us to our third client, late 60s, female. Her exercises are the overhead press, the seated row, the bicep curl, the Jefferson squat, the standing calf raise, the Zercher squat, and the shrug. Now, some of these exercises we started at different times, so I do have the starting and ending dates for all of them, okay? So let's start with that overhead press. So that's from August 3rd, 2022 to present, okay? Her beginning shoulder press, and I kept the, the length the same. Even when we transitioned from chain to isomax, the height was still the same. 24, now 62. Her seated row started at 96 pounds. Now, 126.6 pounds. That was from December 22nd to July 14th. Her bicep curl, 45.6 pounds. Now, 60.4 pounds. That was from April of this year until mid-May. See how quick that was. Jefferson squat, 102 pounds when we first started. Now, 262.8 pounds. That was from April 14th of this year to July 14th, 90 days. What can 90 days do for you? Standing calf raise, start, 112.4 pounds. Now, 211.6 pounds, that was October 26th of last year to July 14th, 2023. Zercher squat. This wasn't her favorite, wasn't her favorite, but she always felt this one. I mean, who doesn't feel the Zercher squat? Zercher squat's boss, it is good. It's just that little feeling in the middle of the bicep and form. But anyway, start, 73.2 pounds, 161.6 pounds. That was from July 14th of 2022 until March, 20th of this year. The last one is the shoulder shrug. She started at 117 pounds. 180.6 pounds. That was from August 4th of 2022 to March 22nd of this year. If we add all these together, right? Her, her shoulder press increased 158%. Her seated row increased 32%. Her bicep curl increased 32%. Her Jefferson squat increased 157%, so over 1.5. Standing calf raise, 88%. Zercha squat, 121%. Shrug, 54%. Overall, she has increased 91% since we started. Huge. That brings us to client number four. 70, female, amazing work ethic. Now, this one I wanna preface, she had a background in martial arts. She is a very quick type two fast twitch muscle fiber responder. I could tell that immediately within the first couple weeks of us training that she just knew how to contract. This wasn't her first time in fitness. She's been involved in fitness almost her entire life. Um, but this was new with the isometric training and overcoming ISO in particular. So her exercises were the seated row, the shrug, the bicep curl and overhead press, and then the chest press, the hack squat, the Jefferson squat, and the calf raise. All right, and I'm reading from here. In the beginning, 98.6, 146.8, an increase of 48%. The shrug, 87.4 pounds, 240.4 pounds, an increase of 175%. She almost tripled her trap strength. Bicep curl, 35.4 pounds, 65.4 pounds, an increase of 85%. Overhead press, this is from bottom position, 52.2 pounds, 109.6 pounds, an increase of 109%. She doubled her strength. Chest press, this is relatively new now because we got the ISO max back in March. 56.2 pounds in the beginning for chest press, 100.6 pounds an increase of 79%. Hack squat, 77 pounds, 251.8 pounds, an increase of 227%. She tripled her strength on that lift. Jefferson squat, 156.6 pounds, 193.8 pounds, an increase of 23%. Calf raise, 141.6 pounds, 220.4 pounds, 
an increase of 55%. Those are eight exercises. So you take all those percentages and you divide them by 800. She has increased, it was actually 801 divided by 800. She's increased 100.1%. She has completely doubled her strength training in the last year. She is twice the person she was before. Doubling your strength is a big freaking deal. It might not seem like a big deal, guys. It is a big deal. She is now twice what she is before. Huge, huge. Last client, early 50s, background in fitness. Our goal together, he sought me out and I was doing our No Limit Fitness online training promotion. Our goal, increase strength and hypertrophy. So what we did was we started with three by six and then ended at six by six, where we're now continuing to work the six by six. Also, we had hypertrophy lifts as well. We started by three by 30 seconds and then we increased to 45. So remember, hypertrophy is anywhere between 20, it starts at 20 and it goes to 45 seconds under load at either, at 60 to 85% of your max, right? So what we did was we had two days, same exercise, by the way, the same exercise, I'm gonna go over in a second, same exercises, we had two days a week where we were just the strength, three by six, and then ultimately six by six, and then two days a week of hypertrophy, same exercises, but 30 seconds, which ultimately ended in 45 seconds. The biggest flex with my client here is his hypertrophy increase. It is just insane. Remember, these are it's more myofibrillar here. But just because it's myofibrillar um, for hypertrophy, that doesn't mean you don't gain size, okay? So with that said, our exercises were the chest press, the shrug, the seated row, the bicep curl, the calf raise, the RDL, the hack squat, the Jefferson squat, the deadlift, these are a lot. The tricep press and the overhead press, shoulder press. Strap in guys. The increase in his chest press. Strength, 19%. He went from 139.4 pounds to 166.4 pounds on his chest press. Increase of 19%. Hypertrophy, 83.6 pounds to 99 pounds increase of 18%, but is it really 18% though? Because he started at 30 seconds of tension and he ended at 45 seconds of tension. So the 83.6 pounds was at 30 seconds of tension. The 99 pounds was at 45 seconds of tension. This is with average mode, huge increase. It's not really 18%, but this is all I have to go on. The multiplier, between 30 seconds to 45 seconds is, is kind of, I'm not sure how to how to do that, all right? So if anybody knows, uh, comment down below. We're just gonna go with 18%, but really it's a lot more than that. The shrug, 227.8 pounds in the beginning, 280 pounds, an increase of 23%. For hypertrophy, 140 pounds at 30 seconds, 162.8 pounds at 45 seconds, an increase of 16%, but not really 16. After this, I'm gonna stop saying that, but you guys know what I mean. The seated row, 237 pounds in the beginning, 258 pounds in the end, an increase of 8%. Hypertrophy, so the rows were really tough for him. So we actually experienced a loss here, 158.4, pounds of sustained force at 30 seconds, 143, so it went down at 45 seconds. That's okay, that's actually minus 10%, but it doesn't matter, you guys will see at the end. Bicep curl, 46.8 pounds, 80.6 pounds now. An increase of 72%, hypertrophy, 25.4 pounds, 57.2 pounds, an increase of 125% he has doubled his time under tension with the bicep curl very good overhead press started at 56 pounds 100 pounds an increase of 78 percent on strength hypertrophy 30.4 pounds 64 pounds now an increase of 110 percent he's doubled his time under tension tricep press 67.8 pounds 83 pounds now increase of 22 percent for hypertrophy, 31 pounds, now 59.4 pounds, 
an increase of 92%. If he had 62, he would have doubled it. Very good. Are you noticing his hypertrophy? Deadlift, 229 pounds, now 341 pounds. An increase of 48%. 87.6 pounds for hypertrophy for deadlift. 165 pounds now, that is huge. That is an increase of 88% for a huge compound lift like the deadlift, that's, that's amazing. Jefferson squat, 214.8 pounds, 363 pounds. That is an increase of 68% for the hypertrophy for Jefferson, 147 pounds to start, 178.2 pounds, an increase of 21%. Calf raise, almost done, 209.4 pounds, 295.6 pounds. That is an increase of 41% for strength. 123.2 pounds, 140.8 pounds for calf raise hypertrophy and an increase of 14%. Romanian deadlift, 130.2 pounds, 178.4 pounds. That is an increase of 37%. For hypertrophy, 64.9 pounds at 30 seconds, 114 pounds at 45 seconds, an increase of 75%, freaking fantastic. Last one, hack squat, 241 pounds when he first started, 350 pounds is what he's getting now. That is an increase of 45%, 154 pounds for hypertrophy, 171.6 pounds of sustained effort at 45 seconds, an increase of 11.4%. Freaking let's go, his strength has increased 42% over that time period. His hypertrophy has gone up 51%. Amazing job. What do you guys think of these numbers? These are all absolutely fantastic. They are all slam dunks. And if you haven't seen our video, and I bring this up for a reason, about superhuman 5% strength gains daily, go ahead and click this link, check that out. In five months, with proper progressive overload, you will double your strength, okay? This is huge, this is huge. Strength is a party trick like in the Dragon Ball Z videos. It's nice that it can be used like that, but this is real training, all right? On average, we're expecting 20% increases in a month. Very typical. Dude, I mean, the increases by, if for, all, for all five of these people, 95%, 91%, 162%, 100.1%, and then 42 and 51% respectively. What did you guys think? Go ahead and comment down below. Hopefully you found this video very informative about how this training works and how strong it will make you. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video and found value in it, please drop a like, go ahead and comment. And if you're not yet part of the squad, hit that subscribe button, come join us. We'll see you next video. Peace.